You have three seconds to like and subscribe, or this will be you. It's over. I suggest you like and subscribe now. Hey guys, Universal here, and um, we're on a game that I haven't been on for over a month. Well, I mean, well, about a month, give or take, whatever you want to say. But anyways, uh, Fruit Battlegrounds has finally decided to drop their update, and we have the Dragon Awakening. And I know a lot of people are hyped for this. Um, it's a really cool, like, awakening, I'm not going to lie to you. But anyways, let's go to my fruit inventory and look at it. And as you can see right here, um, this is Dragon of Awakening V2 right here, Dragon V2, and they have now stripped regular Dragon of its little fire mantle, so it just looks naked and bald. Oh my god, it looks so ugly now. It is like disgusting, I'm not gonna lie to you. But you know, Dragon V2 looking nice. It's a really cool fruit. You already know, you got my little showcase coming up. Detail showcase, I'm gonna have y'all with a combo and I'll have y'all with a little bit of PvP. Anyways, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and let's go and get into this video. All right, so the first thing that we have to talk about Dragon Awakening is Bagua. You get Kaido's Bagua as a base weapon for M1s, each M1 dealing 13.8 damage and the final M1 dealing 20 damage with pretty good AoE, I won't lie. For the first actual move in the kit, we have Inferno Breath, a medium range beam which you can drag your opponent to different spots while stunning your opponent before it explodes. Each tick of the beam deals approximately about 0.8 damage and the final explosion does a little over 30 damage. This also causes your opponent to burn allowing for this attack to do over 100 damage. And the skill breaks block on the very last hit. Next up we have one of your main combo starters, Thunder Bagua. Similar to Mess, you lunge forward until getting near your opponent, causing you to strike them with your Bagua, stunning them and dealing 67.5 damage at max level. This skill does block bypass. Alright guys, the next move that we have up is Dragon Twister. You wind up your Bagua before swinging it with enough force to generate a wind tornado. This will drag along your opponent, dealing 2.8 damage per tick and will end if it collides with any type of surface. If you get the full move duration, it will deal 140 damage at max level. This move does bypass block. And lastly for the base, we have Beast Bellow, an upgraded version of Dragon Screech, except now at the end of the skill, it ragdolls. Each tick of the Screech deals about 1.5 damage, and at the very end, it deals 75 damage. This skill does bypass block. Next up, we'll be talking about the Dragon Awakening form, which is Hybrid Dragon. Uh, it's similar to Leopard mode, as long as you're above 20% of the mode bar, you will be able to transform. And this mode grants you increased movement speed and an increased M1 hitbox, making your Bagua scale up to your character once you've transformed. The first skill that we'll be talking about in the mode is Inferno Breath, which basically stayed the exact same, except that it got a 25% damage boost, the move itself became large, and the last part of it guard breaks. The second skill of our mode is actually a new skill, it's called Bolo Frenzy. You jump into the air, stunning your opponent before shooting down three balls of fire on your opponent, each dealing 21 damage each. This does block bypass. Next up we have Dragon Twister, which is the exact same move, except it was made bigger, faster, stronger, and it went from 2.8 damage to 3.4 damage a tick. And overall it does around 170 if you get every single hit, and it still block bypasses of course. Now for your second to last damaging skill in the mode, we have Beast Bellow, which didn't change, it's the exact same, except it does a lot more damage, about like 100 more, I'm pretty sure, like 245 damage, and it has a much larger hitbox, still block bypasses. Next up, we have what can be seen as a mode in a mode, we have Flaming Torch. This envelops your character in fire, buffing some of your skills to do more damage, and also gives some of your skills burn damage. Overall, this is just a nice thing to have popped while you're fighting. Almost forgot to mention that this allows your Inferno Breath to block bypass.
And lastly, we have Demolition, more of a cutscene type of ult. You rush towards your opponent, and then once you make contact with them, kind of like buzz cut, you put them in this cutscene type animation where you are granted iframes while you're doing damage to your opponent. You slam them around, then you toss them into the sky, and then you do exactly what Kaido did to Luffy. You jump up, and then with a nice little it's over voice line, you slam them straight into the ground with your bagua. Forgot to mention that if you don't hit the Demolition, you can it, it's literally just like buzz cut where you can run around, except for the fact that it obviously doesn't go up walls like buzz cut because that literally wouldn't make sense but it lasts for a long time and gives you like crazy movement speed Alright guys, I got a little base bread and butter combo for you. First you want to start off with your Thunder Bagua, then you want to go for your 4 and 1s. It gets done for a while, so you definitely can. Then you want to hit them with your 1 skill. This is kind of interchangeable in order because either way you'll probably end up getting the same combo off because they have really short cooldowns. You want to go for 3 and 1s, then you want to go for your Dragon Twister, and then you want to dash up right before you think the Dragon Twister is going to end and you want to hit them with your 4 skill. You won't be able to combo extend off of your 4 skill because of how far it knocks back, but if there's a wall you can get lucky and you can keep it going. This combo does a hefty chunk of damage, like 550, well, something slight, something slight. Next up, we have our mode combo. Obviously, this isn't going to be the best combo in the game. I'm literally testing the fruit. I have, like, once thousands of people get their hands on this fruit, then, like, they'll figure out what the actual best combo is. But all I know is go into mode, make sure your, your secondary mode is on your flaming torch. Then you want to hit your one skill because it's going to be your most consistent combo starter. Drag them right below you, land three of ones, go for your two skill. When they fall down, then you want to hit your three skill. And then once they fall out of the torch, Tornado. I like I kind of miss it here, but you can definitely true combo it. You want to hit your uh, ultimate and then get your damage off and there's pretty much nothing else you can do after this because you know cooldowns yada yada yada. But I mean once the fruit's out to the public and everybody actually gets their hands on it, people will probably probably figure out like some crazy combos. But it's about like some slight, about like a 700, um, really like 800 damage combo, but like they're healing during it, so you know, you don't get to see all that. Alright guys, we got our first ever time fighting Gear 5 with Dragon, and we're gonna see what we do. Hybrid Dragon versus Gear 5, cannon fight. Let's see how I do. He's transforming late, he should have transformed like way before the fight started, but to give him a fair fight, I'll transform about right now. Pop my mode. Alright, let's see what I want to do here. Um, Block those. Can I hit him with my one skill? Okay, we do hit those snipes, we drag it down slowly, bring him right next to us. Okay, W. Come over here, two skill. Aim straight down. Twister. Gets a really big hitbox, but he gets put under the ground, unfortunately. But we still follow that. He comes out of the ground, and honestly, we're going to take this fight out of the combo. I'm not going to lie, because I am, I do not want to give up this fight. I'm out here with you, gang. I'm out here with you. Don't worry about it. We fighting out here. Ow. Okay, he hits me there. Uh, I don't know what he hit me with. Bolo Frenzy. I can snipe him. Oh, wait, that's bad. Ooh, okay, we're good. Dragon Twister. He did not dodge into it like I thought he would. We can get out of the way of that, though. Uh, use this. Hey. Mm. Bink, bink, bink. Bro's not even over here. He's still getting hit by it. Hey. Okay, we like to see that. We like to see that. One skill. Snipe him. Oh, that's such good positioning. Oh, that's such W positioning. Okay, Dragon's going to be one of those good mobility foods. Dragon is definitely going to be one of those good mobility fruits. Flame Torch. Oh, uh, I could be screwed. I could be screwed. Twister. Does the Twister catch him? Twister did not catch him. Um, I could be in a bad spot. He missed that. Ooh, am I out of the way? Am I out of the way? Where's the fist coming? He does not hit those fists. He turned the wrong way. Okay, I aim at the floor where he should respawn. Oh, uh, he was over there. I missed. I missed aimed it. He's Bellow. I think I win those stun trades, right? I did not technically win the stun trade, but close enough. Wow, I didn't see him above me. Two skill. Oh, wait, I used my Thunder Bagu. I didn't even notice I detransformed. But anyways, bring him right next to me, and that should be GG's, right? And GG's, and I'm almost like, I was like a 1,000 HP. Okay, Dragon's teed. All right, guys, second fight will be against a Leopard. Uh, I should be able to take these two. I ain't gonna lie. Dragon is low-key just that fruit when it comes to ones. I'm gonna flame it towards him. Okay, hold Dragon Twister. And look at that hitbox. Look at that. That hitbox isn't that, that hitbox isn't fair. And then I just drag him in right here. Is he M1-ing in my move? What the heck? What 
fuck? Okay, beast, uh, bolo frenzy. Then I use my ultimate, catch him, uh, go crazy on him. Bang, bang, mm -hmm. bang. It's over. Slam down. Then I use my two skills, sniper from above. That, there's no way I just got caught by that midair. No way it almost, no way it flings me out of the map. Like, that's outrageous. Okay. Anyways, nice Roku gun. Uh, one skill. That catches him. Ooh, that's a real, like, that's what Dragon Beam should have been from the beginning. Dragon Beam could never. Flaming Torch. Is he invisible? And he's invisible. You love to see it. But it doesn't matter because he has a marker over his head. So I, like, do not care. Catch him with this. Then I catch him with my beam. Come back here the second that's over, please. Yeah, just come right back here. He's definitely using skills, like, in the thing, but it doesn't matter. Come here. Uh, 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 no way. That, that counters my ultimate. He used freaking his one skill after image strike. I'm getting beaten up by an invisible cat. That's not even going to work. Okay, Dragon Twister, and that should finish it, right? Off screen? Off screen. GG's, GG's. All right, guys, time for the last 1v1 of the video. We have Old Dragon versus me using Dragon V2. Let's see, let's see. And nice. I lagged instantly. Okay, so, oh my god. This dragon is huge compared to Old Dragon. And we both started with our beam, but um, we, we obviously know which one is the superior beam, guys. Free skill. There's our twister. Okay, then we want to follow up with Beast uh, freaking Bellow. Oh, I should be able to combo extend off of this because there's a wall right next to us. Okay, then I one skill. Did he just use Draco Meteor? He used Draco Meteor. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh my god, Draco Meteor still does so much damage. Did I just take like 300 damage from just Draco Meteor? Get him off of me, Twister. Oh my god. Uh, can my one skill come back? Snipe him out the air? Wait, oh, that's insane. Oh, that's not okay. No. No! That's not a... Oh, what? No, this isn't a... Wait, wait, what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dragon. Dragon damage is not okay. And that Twister pulls him again. And he somehow managed to catch me in that. Okay. Dragon may... may like, it's definitely the worst fruit now. Don't get me wrong. But the damage it does is disgusting. I'm going to detransform because I want to finish this with my ult. Come on out. Come on out. It's time to show that you've truly been replaced in the meta. Okay. Um, I'm not getting hit by that. Uh, Frenzy, can this reach? I don't think that reaches, does it? I don't know. It does not have that far of a hitbox. I'm tweaking. Uh, my one skill also doesn't have that far of a hitbox. I'm still tweaking. Dragon Twister. Uh, I don't know what his health is. What's his health? What's his health? Oh, wait. I can finish this with the ult. Come here. Yes. Ooh. Slam, slam, slam. Wait, I'm taking damage while I'm using my ult. What the heck? Anyways, I win. We take those. We take those. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And, you know, I'm going to be start pumping out these um, dragon videos. A lot of it's probably going to go on my, my for my uh, members because I'm not going to pump out like six videos a day. That's too much stress on myself. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. See you guys in the next one. Peace.